So I'm going to show you how to read a um, vertical velocity graph. This is bar sense. It's opened. I'm going to select any random uh, lift, 95 kilo snatch, and on the right side is the velocity graph. So on the right side we have uh, right here uh, the center line is the x-axis. X-axis is where um, on the screen you can see it's a hard line and just below it is 0 0.17 uh, um, negative 0.7 uh, meters per second which means the bar is traveling slightly in the downward direction and then it goes upwards so whenever the line is in the upwards half of the x-axis it means that the bar is traveling vertically now it's traveling upwards here which means it is increasing in velocity uh, on this down side right here the bar is still traveling in the upwards direction so it's traveling upwards rapidly and then it's traveling upwards more slowly so it's decelerating in the upwards direction until here I'm gonna play the video so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about so all the way through until it crosses again on the x-axis it is still moving in the upwards direction okay so I paused it right there and you can see where the, uh, the red line is here to tell you where you are on the graph and uh, so he pulls the bar all the way up and until it hooks around it stops right there. So this point where it corresponds on the graph corresponds to the very peak, I don't know if you can see that angle, the very very peak up here on the uh, bar path chart. So once he starts to travel downwards right there on the catch of his snatch that is when the bar is now moving in the downwards direction. So the bar is on now the negative side of the axis and is still gathering speed, but is gathering speed in the downwards direction. When the bar is on the bottom side of the graph again, but it is approaching the line, so it's moving upwards towards the x-axis, it is slowing down in the downwards direction. So every time the line on the graph crosses the x-axis, it means that it's uh, switching directions from on this case from going upwards to downwards and from downwards to upwards so this is actually a turnaround point so don't mistake the downwards line for a downward movement in the graph so it's still uh, moving upwards but it's decelerating so this shows us if I'm looking at the graph here that on his snatch he pulled uh, he pulled very hard and quick off of the floor the bar started to peak as it was approaching his high catch up here and it reached its maximum velocity here peak velocity, it tells you at the bottom, peak velocity 3.95 meters per second at the very very top of the graph and then he caught it, it started to slow down at the top, as you can see the time of it slowing down, so the time from here to about here is a very short fraction of a second he catches the bar, turns around, goes in the downwards direction pretty rapidly then he slows down in the downwards direction, the graph starts to move up he kind of stabilizes right here so the speed in the downwards direction remains the same We'll keep playing that part. So just until there, another about a half second. You can see it's a very short dip that he took, kind of a power snatch. And then he starts to go up again with it, so the bar turns around and reaches um, another peak here in his upwards direction before he stops. So we'll go right to the end. And then he stops at the top, slows down, so the bar is still moving upwards, slows down, and then kind of reaches um, zero velocity. And that is how you read a vertical bar velocity graph with bar sense.